So it's the night before our round at the Bloomer Golf Course tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. We got a tee time for 8 a.m. Uh, we wanted to stay out of the heat, and we also wanted to start off Lake Week 2021 with a golf round. That's right. So we came up with some questions that we thought were great questions to ask each other in order to set the tone for the round tomorrow. So question number one, Ryan, you will answer this one first. All right. We've played this course before. What are your expectations heading into this round based on your previous rounds here? Good question. Uh, I think we've played like four or five rounds here, maybe. Yeah, I think played, so. Maybe not 18, but we've right, played, yep, we played, played nine. this course. Yeah, we played yeah, nine this summer. summer. Yep. Um, I think from my past experiences, but it's a long course. It is. Um, it's very get, tiring. You get to eight or nine, you're warming up, you get to 14, you're tired. Yeah. And then you get those um, 14, 15, 16, or those three way back right in the back. middle of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and those are some big holes. They're long par fours, um, but they're straight. So it's a matter of hitting the fairways. Can you hit them straight? Okay. Um, basically, though, I think uh, it'll be a fun round. Hopefully, we don't get too tired. Uh, we're trying to set the heat, I think, as well. Um, if we can maximize some of the holes, there's that 97 yard par four yep. or par three. How could we say. forget? Um, and then that one right after, remember the one after, you got to hit that thing straight. straight. Otherwise, oh, yeah. it's going to be in the trees. See so you later. I think if. We can maximize that, make it feel like a shorter round, not allow the course to get to us. It would be a good one. So personally, I think that the course does play pretty true to how it is, as long as you can hit the fairway. That is true. Yep. You know, there's not too many dog legs, not too much water. Yep. So there's not a lot of places to lose the ball, but my expectations are just kind of the same as what it's always been. It's not mm -hmm. too difficult. I mean, yep. there's some, obviously there's some spots that are tough, there are. but you can make it tough on yourself. Yeah. But we're trying to limit those tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. All right, so we'll move on to question two. What's your X factor for the day? One thing that would t determine your overall play. Yeah, for me, I think it's going to be uh, the use of my pitching wedge. Um, anything from 70 and in, um, I suck. So <laughs> basically, <laughs> yeah. I need to pick up my chipping my short game. I went golfing a couple of weeks ago, hit uh, two hybrids, 40 yards out from the green, six. Good. So I obviously sucked because I you know, went yep. from two, to, two to six. But so if I can limit that and use my chipping and pitching wedge effectively, I think I'll be sitting well tomorrow. Personally, I think all my irons. If I can get my tee shot in the green, or on the fairway, sorry. Yep. And if I can get that next shot close to the green, because mm -hmm. I'm okay with my pitching wedge. Yep. I can get it pretty close. Yeah, but you have a good short game. But I'm, I struggle to get it to the green from the fairway or from, mm -hmm. from outside. So yep. I think if I can hit the green from distance, yep. you know, 150 out sometimes, yep. that'll that'll make my round much easier. I agree. So question three, what have you done in preparation for the round tomorrow? I can go first since you're uh, taking a sip there. Um, last weekend, I went to Top Golf. All right, very good. So got a little driving range. And some bombs. Yeah, yeah, a little, little practice there. Uh, otherwise, the last time that I went was with you when we went um, before, yeah. so I haven't, I haven't had a lot of rounds since then. Yeah, but I don't know. Top golf is a pretty good experience, and yeah. I felt like I was doing okay. I was hitting yeah. a six iron the whole time. Okay, um, it's a tough club to hit. But I had a, uh, I hit the targets there pretty much go. every time. Yep. Maybe not the one I was aiming for, but <laughs> hey, it worked out. All right. So, what's the question again? Uh, what have you done in preparation? preparation. Yeah. So I think I've been keeping track. So I think I'm on my tenth or eleventh round of golf. Okay, that's pretty um, good. That's a lot, a lot for a man your age. A lot, a lot, a lot of rounds this summer. Yeah. I got the clubs last summer. Yeah. Um, last round I played pretty well. Uh, I almost shot under 100, which for me, hey, pretty good. We take those. Um, round before that, not too hot. So um, I think just being able to play all summer, kind of getting things, feeling things out, switching how I hit some shots, putting is improving, um, and kind of just that consistency, finding that rhythm, finding yeah. that role, not allowing myself to get in my head when a Shot goes the wrong way. That's right. That's important for any golf. Yeah. All right. So number four, with a high of eighty-four tomorrow. Yeah, eighty-four. It might Oof. not be that that warm in the morning, but yep. you, know, you know we're not. So yep. Wisconsin, it could snow. Um, how will the heat affect your play? Are you doing anything to minimize the toll it takes on you during the round? Yeah, eighty-four. It's a warm day tomorrow, especially. Might need to wear a cutoff. I. It's in the options. It's, it is it's in the possibilities. Yep. Um, I went golfing. 
two rounds ago, 91. We walked. 91. We walked. Walking. Yeah. 18? 18. 18. Man. I threw four water bottles in my bag, and those were gone by the end of whole nine. So how many do we have tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we are riding. So we are. I'll probably stick with four. Okay. Um, I think if we can maximize our time in the cart, minimize the time out of the cart, um, and the you fact that we up. are walk or not walk, we're not walking. The fact that we're riding is yeah. going to um, directly help us in the long run. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think you hit it right on the head. Staying in the cart, staying in the shade as much as you can, drink hydrating. Yep. Maybe bring in a granola bar or two. Yep. That's to, true. Uh, Oh, you, yep. Yep. you never know at the at the turn you're gonna need a sandwich or something, yes. but yeah so i think you hit that one good all right so question number five what did you eat for breakfast three days ago i did not have breakfast three days ago wow so <laughs> i was getting ready for work so i had a bagel with peanut butter there we go um and some milk bagels peanut butter and some milk yeah all that's, right that was my normal before work yep meal so i just had that every yep. have that every day that's what i like to see all right, over under on balls lost tomorrow is at 5.5. I think we heard that on um, ESPN this morning. Yep. So what do you have as your number of balls lost? Over or under 5.5? Over or under 5.5. Now it's midsummer. Um, you kind of the swing of, the swing of the things. Swing of things. Uh, practice. Um, I don't like the shape of the course in the sense it's been really dry. Uh, we did hit a little water, a little rain the other day. Over or under five and, and half. five and a half. I'm thinking it's gonna be. I think we're gonna play well and we're gonna stick under. I'm gonna stick under. So with the amount of water, yep. or I guess I could say the amount of the lackage of water. Yeah. I don't think that there's gonna be very many balls lost. Yep. I think um, when we played our nine yep. nine ball round, I maybe lost one one ball. Mm -hmm. So I I'm agreeing. Yep. Under five point five and a half. Right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. On the last question here. What is your final score gonna be? Yep. And your front nine and your back nine. So we can do the front nine first. All right. It's a um, front front nine par of 35. Uh, 35 front nine. I'm gonna say 35 front nine. I always gotta count in some warm up holes. Yeah. You gotta have some tougher ones. So yep. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna shoot a 50 even. 50 on, the, on the front. So when I first thought about that question for the front, I was thinking 45. Yeah. It's five strokes on every hole. Yep. It's a bogey. It's, it's true. And then you know if you get if you yep. get two, but I didn't take into consideration that I haven't been playing that much. Yep. So I might I might bump it up to 48. All right. I'll think 48. 48, 48 on the way out. All right. Um, the back is a 36. 36 on the back. So then that'll be yep. that'll be when we when we have a couple yep. couple holes in couple holes. That's there's that 97 yard par three in there. Yep. Um, and that's 12, isn't it? A 12. The there? 12, yeah. I think. So, a lot of open area. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to miss on those three in the no middle yep. lower. Um, yeah. 36 going out. I want to stick. I want to stick around 100, break 100. So I'm gonna say 49 on the 49 on the back. Yeah. I think. The back nine is tougher than the front nine. I would agree. I think the holes seem longer. Yes. It might be because, you know, we're getting tired at that yep. point. But I think it won't be a 40, so I say 47, 48. 48. On Whatever. The front. 48 I think on it'll the front. be, I think it'll be, I think I'll 52 on the back. 52 on the back for an even 100. For an even 100. All right. It's going to be a good round tomorrow. I think so. Hoping to break 100. Okay. We'll see what happens. Good luck to you. Good luck. See you guys tomorrow.